Hello, everyone. I'm uh, coming out of a business meeting, so I don't have much time, um, but I'm just going to be explaining this um, real quickly um, because um, I had a question that uh, came up um, and that had to do with uh, population um, attributable fraction. Um, and that's something that is um, oftentimes confusing um, to um, even seasoned epidemiologists. So I'm not surprised that um, I, I got a question on this. Um, and so um, I don't have much time um, to be explaining this, but uh, basically um, this can be um, considered, this can be thought of as how much of the exposure, um, how much of, of, of the exposure um, that caused a disease how much of it is actually attributed to the exposure. Um, and that is the uh, population attrib attributable proportion. Um, so just once more, just briefly, um, how many of the cases that were exposed can be actually attributable, can be actually attributed to the exposure? So, for instance, um, in one scenario, um, one illustration, um, there were actually 500 exposures, um, but only 400 of these exposed cases could be attributed to the exposure. So that was about 80%. So um, out of all the total cases, um, even though there were actually 500 um, cases that were exposed, only 400 could be attributed. So that's the fraction. Um, there's actually a formula that you use um, to accurately calculate this uh, fraction. Um, and that has to do with, um, if you have a relative risk, um, then you subtract one, um, and then you uh, multiply uh, this proportion of, uh, of cases um, and, and, so, and, and uh, try to apply the calculation. So um, try to look up the calculation for this, um, but um, understand that this is, has to do with um, how much of the exposure is related to actual exposure. Um, so let me run to my meeting now. Thanks.